me here talking to you on the way to get ready for the Death Grips concert. I'll be showering with a botanical soap. I don't know, it exfoliates well. It smells like wildflowers hanging on a wall. Some of them dead, some of them freshly picked. But I sort of drowned it out with this Dr. Teal scrub because I'll be wearing the Lusky Gayak, which is a dupe for the Le Labo Gayak 10. And one day I'll be able to afford the real thing, but for now, this is my champion. Um, after I wash my body, I'll be washing my face in the shower. I know that's a big no-no, but I have this nourishing coconut balm from Nature Republic, and I'll double cleanse over top of it with the Cos RX afterwards. And honestly, I really wish I could smell like a swimming pool at all times, and the scent of that good morning cleanser really fulfills that desire of mine. Okay, I've just got out of the shower. I still smell mostly like that Dr. Teal's scrub, and I don't know much about Gua Xia or any sort of traditional Chinese medicine. The general opinion that massaging the face is like yoga with overall symmetry, but the actual structure of the face, the same as mewing. And like, these are like infinitesimal changes that, you know, gravity always wins. Um, but at the very least, you can do your best to ensure the structure of the face and the health of the blood beneath is in a state where that's at its most optimal. So generally what I do to help is I put glycolic acid on my face to close my pores, I cover it with aloe, and then I use this small suction tool. I saw on an Ismaya French video because I'm obsessed with her ethic and she has really great skin. I know she also goes to a lot of like facialists and does a lot of work to maintain her beauty, but I find it very admirable that she's willing to share something that we could all adopt into our own beauty routines.